am Lily. Today, I'm going to read your story, How Do Things Get Invented? Reading it, Love 3B. How do things get invented? Okay, let's read it. Quite some time ago, a boy named Charles Manchester took his friend to the World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. There were all kinds of exciting things to see and do and buy at the World's Fair. Charles decided a bouquet of flowers was a very nice thing he could get for his friend, so he bought so he bought her some beautiful red roses. As they walked along, he bought her something else too. Something we all like. Ice cream. Because the ice cream was served between two wafers, it was called an ice cream sandwich. About this time, Charles' friend noticed that the steams of her roses were dripping, dripping water onto her gloves. Oh, Charles, she said, what should I do about my roses? Charles thought of something. He lifted one of the wafers from her ice cream and rolled it into a cone. It was easy to make a cone out of the wafer because the wafer was soft from the ice cream. Then he put the rose drinks, rose things into the cone. Charles was so pleased with this order that he took the other wafer and rolled it into a cone around his friend's ice cream. At, and that is how, or so people say, Charles Matches became the inventor of the ice cream cone. Almost everywhere you can look, so everywhere, almost everywhere you look, you can see things that people have invented. Automobiles and airplanes, the sewing machine, the refrigerator in your kitchen, and the ice cube tray in your refrigerator, all of these had to be thought of by someone before they could be made. When the first of each kind of thing is made, it is called an invention. If no one had invented the zipper, you could hurry, you couldn't hurry enough in and out of your jacket the way you do and if no one had invented earmuffs your ears might get very cold in winter some things are invented by people who know just what they want and try hard to make it other inventions like charles Manchester's ice cream con happen almost by accident Sometimes a very important invention, one of that, one that, has helped change the world, is an accidental invention. A long time ago, a man named Nevelins, who was making eyeglasses, held two round pieces of glass about a foot apart and happened to look through both of them at the same time. He was so surprised that he nearly fell over. Everything he looked at through the glasses seemed two or three times closer than it really was. So the man had invented a telescope without even trying. Of course, he worked on his invention afterward to make it better. So this is the glass too, and so I can see it better. People in different parts of the world then keep working on it to make it still better. Very often when something is invented, someone else invents something a little different to make the first thing work better. If the straight pin had it been invented firstly first, the safety pin might never have been invented. And who invented a straight pin? No one knows. It might have been someone a long time ago who used a thorn or a splinter of wood to hold the two pieces of fur or cloth together. Or sooner or later, someone must have thought that a metal splinter would not break so easily. He made a point on a thin piece of metal so that it would poke through the cloth easily. Then he put a head on the other end so that it wouldn't pull over the cloth. The straight pin had been invented. Someone else might have thought that the same idea could be used to hold wood together. So he invented the nail, or maybe the nail was invented first. It was all so long ago that nobody knows for sure. But most inventions have happened because people think about them for a long, long time and try very hard to make them work. When two young brothers named or or ah yeah the Wright brothers or Will oh and Wilbur Wright were trying to invent a machine that that would fly in the air they studied the work of their man who had tried to fly the ideas of this other man were a big help of the wright brothers yes the wright brothers orville and wilbur 
Right, we're trying to invent a machine that would fly in the air. They even learned from the mistakes of this other man. Finally, Wilbur and Orvel, right, succeeded in doing what so many others had tried to do. They invented the first plane that could take off from the ground with an engine carrying a man into the sky. New things are being invented every day, and more new things will be invented tomorrow and next year. Many inventions are thought of by by one person, but there are other inventions. But there are other inventors who work in groups. Each group is something like a team playing a game. Each person on the team works on his work, own part of the invention. Other workers keep track of all the parts and put them together. Sometimes the finishes the finished invention is something like a spaceship, so big with so many parts that no two men could ever build it by themselves. As the Wright brothers built the first simple airplane, some boy or girl who is starting school this year may some someday invent something that will change the world as much as the telescope or the airplane change it, or that will be enjoyed by as many people as the ice cream cone is. What will the new invention be? Nobody can sure until it is made. Today, I read the story. How do things get invented? Okay, so the first Charles, uh, yes, Charles decided a ice cream cone and like this and glasses and telescope and this pins and nails planes and the other things okay bye